We know about the French Revolution, but how many people know that there have been quite a few of them? How many exactly? The question is a bit more complicated to answer than it seems. So to get a 100% scientifically accurate answer, we need to define what counts as a revolution. This is completely made up by me, it's not really a standard, but here we go. First, the people demand change. Second, they force a change in how they are governed. Third, the change sticks, at least for a while. All in all, there are six contenders. Let's start with the first one, the OG revolution. So the people are starving and France is bankrupt. The king's government calls the Estates General to sort everything out. It's kind of like a parliament. The thing is, the people are so starved of power, they won't let go. They demand a constitution. See this place? It's the Bastille. The people of Paris storm it when the king fires his finance minister. Later, a group of women marches to Versailles and forces the royal family to return to Paris with them. The royal family try to sneak off and get caught. The National Assembly passes loads of progressive laws. The saint culottes rise up and storm the royal palace. The royal family ends. The king is killed. War starts. Rebellion starts. The terror starts. The queen is killed. The terror continues. The revolutionaries kill each other. The terror ends. The revolution doesn't. Napoleon becomes famous. Napoleon launches a coup. Napoleon does some stuff and eventually the revolution ends. At the end of it, royalty comes back though. But still, 100% a revolution. The second contender. The two kings after Louis XVI aren't doing a much better job than he did. The people are starving. Again. The king gets paranoid that something might happen and tries to take more power. The newspapers kick off. The government overreacts and sends in the army. The people in the army fight and the people win. The king abdicates and the politicians offer the throne to his cousin. He becomes King Louis it all took a few days in July 1830. It's called the July Revolution. It's a shit one, but a revolution nevertheless. The third contender. Two years later, the new king is a flop. Crisis is still going on. The people of Paris rise up, but no one else joins them. They are crushed by the army. Not a revolution, but it did inspire everyone's favorite musical, Les Mis. Fast forwarding to 1848, and guess what? The people are starving. Again, the king is still a flop, and he's banned political gatherings. Bouges are arranging banquets to get around the rules. The government finds out and bans the banquets. They guess the people are going to be angry and protest in Paris. Classic Paris. So they send in the army, just in case. But the people don't do anything. The army leaves. The people rise up, the army send reinforcements, and they join the protesters. The king realizes his goose is cooked and abdicates. During the debate on what to do next, people storm the chamber and demand the end of royalty. They want the Second French Republic. They get what they want. This is definitely a revolution. After this, Napoleon's nephew becomes the first ever president of France. A bit sus. A few years later, he copies his uncle and launches a cute coup and calls himself Napoleon III. After a while, Napoleon III, he loses badly to the Prussians and he's forced out. The leftists in Paris rise up and take control. They try this new communism thing and other progressive ideas. After a few months, the army wipes them out. Not a revolution. Between this and the 1960s, absolutely nothing happened in France. It's 1968. Everyone is unhappy with the alleged war hero and President Charles de Gaulle. More than half the country is on strike. Anarchists, communists and trade unions have the government on the rocks. He secretly leaves France. There could finally be a fourth revolution. He comes back and announces an election. Everyone seems to chill. Not a revolution, sadly. 2023. Police are racist. The French rediscover this and there are protests all over the country. In all seriousness, it's too early to really talk about this, but it shows why there were so many revolutions in the past, but not now. The police can oppress the people pretty easily with the sheer amount of them and their weapons, and police didn't even exist before the first revolution. Anyway, did you keep count? There were three revolutions and a couple of rebellions. If nothing else, the French know when it's time to stop taking shit. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Let me know which revolution was your favourite in the comments. You might like this video too.